Well, Trump stuck to his text and avoided the gaffes that have sent his poll numbers plummeting since last month's convention. Hillary Clinton, whose lead is formidable, had a different view of counterterrorism today. Here's Nancy Cordes. The secret is he has no plan. <laughs> In Scranton, Pennsylvania today, Clinton argued Trump's terror proposals vary by the day. He talked about letting Syria become a free zone for ISIS. A major country in the Middle East that could launch attacks against us and others. He's talked about sending ground troops, American ground troops. Well, that is off the table as far as I am concerned. Unlike Trump, Clinton wants to increase the number of Syrian refugees the U.S. lets in from 10,000 to 65,000. She says the vetting process is already extensive, and she argues she'll work better with moderate Muslims who are the key to defeating ISIS. He can't be trusted. Vice President Biden, campaigning with Clinton, had a score to settle after Trump called President Obama the founder of ISIS. But let me tell you why it's a dangerous statement. Why, as he might say, the bad guys are listening. Biden pointed out that the leader of the terror group Hezbollah had seized on Trump's accusation over the weekend. If my son were still in Iraq, and I say to all those who are there, the threat to their life has gone up a couple clicks. It's gone up a couple clicks. Biden went so far as to say that if his son had been deployed by a President Trump, he would have thrown himself at his son's feet to prevent him from going. He's hoping that statements like that get some attention here in working class Scranton, Scott, which is the town where he grew up.